Hello and welcome to the next video in this tutorial series. So the first thing we're going to do is start to make the home page editable in Craft CMS. So the first section of the home page is this hero section. And all it is is a title and a background image. So let's start with that. So the first thing we want to do is create an image upload field for this background image. So let's go to our code editor and let's go to this .env file. This is where our environment variables are stored. So we're gonna create two new variables. One is the asset base URL. That's the URL that comes before the image name or the file name that's uploaded. And the second is the asset base path. And that's the path on your system where the uploads directory is, where that file will live. So let's type asset base URL. And this is just going to be the base URL of the website plus our upload directory, so slash uploads. You can make this anything you want and you can have the upload directory anywhere you want within reason, uh, but I'm just gonna let it create an uploads directory in our web directory here. And the second thing is asset base path. And this is the path on your file system where images will be uploaded to. So in my case, it's user slash my username, and then my local host directory or my Apache web root, and then the name of my project folder, and then web slash uploads. So on Linux, this might look something like var slash www slash HTML. Um, but in my case, this is where the project lives and where the uploads directory will live. Okay, so now let's go to the craft admin panel and we'll go to settings and assets. And we have to create a new volume, which is just a place that files can be uploaded to. So we'll press new volume and we'll just call it uploads. Again, we can call this anything we want, but this is a good simple name. And we want to check this box on because we want files that are uploaded to have public URLs. Otherwise we wouldn't be able to access them when people are viewing the website. So the base URL is in the environment variable we just created. So we can type asset and there it pops up here. The volume type will be a local folder. You can also upload to an Amazon S3 bucket or other third party places, but we're just gonna use a local folder. And again, we already created an environment variable for this. So we'll type asset and there it is, asset base path. And that's all we have to do here. So let's save this. Great, so now we have a place where files can be uploaded to. Now we can create a field that is an image upload field that uploads to this volume. So let's go to settings, fields, and let's create a new group of fields called homepage. And now we can create our first field. Let's call this hero title. This will just be a plain text field and that's all we have to worry about for this one. So we'll save that. And now we'll create the hero image field. And the field type here will be assets. And here you can see our sources. Let's check just the uploads one. This is our uploads volume that we just created. Let's restrict the allowed file types to images only because this is a background image for the hero section. So we don't want people uploading video files or spreadsheets or PDFs or anything weird like that. Since there's only one background image, we will limit the number of images to one or the number of files to one. And the view mode is just how people view it in the CraftsMS editor. So because there's only one image uploaded, we don't have to display a list of images. We can just display a thumbnail, one large thumbnail. And this is some helpful text in the editor. So again, let's just put something useful here, like add a background image. And that's all we have to do here. So now we have our two fields for the hero. Let's edit the home page so that you can see what exists there now. So if we go to entries, home, you'll see there are no fields on the home page. So you can't edit anything on the home page yet. So let's add a few fields to our home page section. We can do that by going to settings, sections, edit entry type. And here you can see our fields that we have available to us over here. We just created these two. And this is our field layout for the homepage. 
So let's go ahead and drag hero title over and hero image and save. Now, if we go back to entries and edit the home page, we have these two fields available. So let's type something in here, testing, and let's add a background image. I'm just gonna drag a file in here. Let's do this one. And we'll save that just like that. So if we go to our home page and refresh, nothing has changed because we edited the content in craft, but we haven't changed the template to pull that new content out yet. So let's go and edit our template for the home page. So we'll go to home.twig and here's our hero section. We just have a hard coded image in there and a hard coded title. So let's start with the title first. Let's delete this and we'll say entry dot title. Actually entry dot hero title is what we called it in the fields. So let's save that, refresh, perfect. Now let's do the image. So instead of putting the whole image field in here, I'm gonna create a variable for it first. So let's do set, which will create a variable. We'll call that variable image. And we'll say this is entry dot hero image dot one. So even though we've only said that people can upload one image to this background image field, images still come back in an array. So it'll be array an array of one image. So we have to say one to get the first one. Now that we have an image variable containing that first image, we can go in here and just type image.url. So let's save that and refresh. Perfect. So this is all working, although this isn't a very uh, good image for the hero section because it's not very readable. So let's go back to craft and change this. Let's put our original title back in here now that we have it editable in craft. And let's change this image out for the one we want, which is this hero background image. And craft is very nice here where you can just drag things right into it without having to select it from the browse window or anything like that. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh. Perfect. It's as if we never made it editable to begin with, but we know that we can't edit it in craft. So that's nice. All right. So the next section on the home page is this featured story. We're going to skip this for now because stories is a whole separate section type that we're going to create. And uh, we'll just wait till we get to that part before we start trying to figure out making this editable. So the final section on the homepage here is this meet the riders section. So let's make this editable in craft. So we have a rich text section here where we have a heading and a paragraph, and then we have these three repeated elements. So for this first one, we want a rich text field. So let's go to craft and by default, we don't get a rich text field with craft. We have to use a plugin called redactor to get rich text fields. So we'll go to settings. Actually, sorry, we'll go to plugins, plugin store, and we'll type redactor in the search. And here it is, it's free. So we'll just go ahead and install this. All right, now let's go add some fields for this meet the riders section. So we'll go to settings, fields. We'll go into this homepage group because we're still creating fields for the homepage new field, we'll call this writer's intro content because it's the content at the top introducing the writer's section here. And we're going to choose for field type, we're gonna choose redactor, which is just a rich text field, rich text editor. We can leave everything here default. The only thing I like to check is show the HTML buttons for non-admin users because I like for people to be able to click the HTML button to edit things if uh, there's extra spaces or line breaks that they weren't expecting. Other than that, I'm just going to press save. And finally, let's create a field for the riders themselves. So again, we have these repeated elements. We have a photo, a name, and a little description. So this is a perfect use case for a matrix field. So a matrix field lets us create a group of fields that we can repeat. So we'll go press new field. We'll call this one riders. 
it will be a field type of matrix. And we're only gonna have one block type here. We'll just call it rider. And it has three fields, photo, name, description. So the first one will be photo. This field is required because we don't want there to be two people with a photo and one without. It'll mess up the layout a little bit. So for the field type, let's choose assets. We want to just choose our uploads directory. We can choose all, but if we add other volumes in the future, then they will be selected here by default. So let's make sure we just be explicit and choose the one we want, which is the uploads volume. And again, let's restrict the allowed file type to images because we don't need people trying to upload a PDF for someone's photo. We'll limit it to one image and do large thumbnail. And we'll just put some helpful text here, add a photo, perfect. So that's the first field, photo. The next field is the writer's full name. This will be a plain text field. And let's just say that this is required because we don't want anyone without names in there. And the last one is description. And this can also be a plain text field and let's make it required. But let's do one thing here where we allow um, multiple, uh, we just wanna create a larger text box. So instead of one line text box, let's have it be a couple lines tall, like uh, two lines tall for the person's uh, bio or description. So let's go ahead and save this. And finally, let's go to the homepage and add these fields again. So we'll go to settings, sections, edit entry type. Now we could just add the riders and riders intro content right underneath the hero fields. So if we look at the homepage in the editor again here, we could have the rider fields right down here but since there's a separate section on the homepage, why don't we separate it out into a separate tab? So we can do that by pressing new tab. We'll call this riders and we'll drag our fields into that. And I'll show you what this looks like in a moment. Let's also rename this tab to hero. So if we save this and go back to the homepage and refresh, we now have these two tabs here. One is the hero section and one is the rider section. And this is great if you have a lot of fields for an entry and you don't want them just displayed all the way down the page. That makes it really hard to figure out what you're, find what you're looking for. So this is a nice way to break them out. So let's just put some test content in here and let's add a few riders here just to test it out. Test one. Let's add some images for these people. Here, I'll just upload all of their images now, actually. And heck, why not? I'll just put in the actual per people's uh, names here. Rather than coming back later to edit it. So we have Henry Potter, and then we have Sarah Bradbury. Just copy this content over. There's Sarah. And finally we have Jack Starfield. All right, so for the rich text, we might as well just put in our actual rich text content. So I'll paste that in here. All right, let's go ahead and save this. And let's edit our homepage template to use these new fields. So if we go down here, let's get rid of this hard-coded rich text content. And let's get rid of the repeated people here and just keep one, which is our base. And if we look at what this looks like in the front end now, we have no rich text and we just have this first hard-coded one which we'll use to loop over. So let's start by putting the rich text in here. So it's entry dot, the name of the field or the handle of the field. So let's look at again at what that was. Let's go to fields 
So it was riders intro content. So entry dot riders intro content. Let's test and see if that worked. Yes, perfect. And then the next one was riders, which is a matrix field. So here's where we'll loop through that matrix field. So we'll say for rider in entry dot riders dot all. So this is that matrix field and we're going to get all of the blocks within that matrix field. So we added three riders. So we'll get all three of them and we'll just loop over them here. So four and end four is our for loop. And let's just test this out. Perfect, we get three people in here. We haven't replaced the actual text yet or images, but we'll do that next. But it is loading three items, so that's great. So let's start with the names. So we can use rider, and then we gave them a field called full name. And here is their description. So we'll swap this out, rider.description. Let's test and see if this works. Yes, perfect. Their names changed. This text was the same either way, but that's being loaded in properly. The last thing to do are their photos. So let's get rid of all this and let's create a new variable here for their photos. So we'll say set photo equals rider.photo.1. So again, we only allow one image to be uploaded, but it will come back as an array. So we just have to get the first image in that array. So that's how we do that. And then we can just add the photo.url here. So one other thing is we have this alt text on the image. Let's just make this the writer's name. So there's some good alt text there. And let's check this out. All right, perfect. That is working as expected. So one nice thing about matrix fields, if we edit the home page again, go to the writers tab, we have these three people. And because they're, they're separate blocks in a matrix field, we can actually reorder them anywhere we like just by dragging them. So let's use this little handle here and we'll drag Jack to the front and save that. And by the way, in CraftsMS, you can do Command S or Control S to save and it will just save and stay on the page rather than leaving. You can also do save and continue editing and that will keep you in the editor for this page as well. So let's check this out. We just moved Jack to the top. Let's refresh. And there we go. He moved over to that side. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.